morning everyone. Unfortunately I'm not very well again. Oh dear me. Monday, that's pretty good on Monday. Yesterday I woke up quite good, 9 o'clock. My body just got hit with pain. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's coming down with something else, but it was different pain. Like my, even now my back sore and my legs are sore. It's very different. Um, it's not my normal arthralgia pain. It's not the pain that <laughs> not the exhaustion pain that I had with the iron. <sighs> I felt my body is just falling apart. I don't know what it's trying to tell me. I've had enough. I don't feel quite so bad this morning, but I'm still not great. And yesterday I was planning on going to my groceries, but when, when that pain hit at 9 o'clock, I thought, I thought no, I could have gone earlier. I was really going to go like, first up, and I thought, oh, no, I'll go a bit later on. And the dog didn't get them walk yesterday, because, yeah. It was really a pain. I, got, like, no, I don't know if I pulled a muscle in the, my back, but now the pain shifts through the chest, so it's something else. Maybe it is. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I said, oh, I did deserve this. Oh, and this is, oh, sorry, I'm just, <laughs> Kevin packed his own snacks, he's packed a custard instead of a yogurt. I was wondering, what the hell is the custard packet doing there? So, we've got lots of friends that are sleeping over all week long. Uh, we had two girls last night, the same two are staying tonight. And then tomorrow, I mean, Christy's friend and her brother, who's Athena's friend, staying over. Then a friend from... I think it's old school on Friday, and apparently there's more kids sleeping over on Saturday night. So, um, very busy house <laughs> this week. Um, and hopefully, maybe Sunday, Monday, we'll have a bit to ourselves. I can't get the blind up with this hand. Try again. I think this one. Why isn't this one working? Different ones work. Different times. There we go. So I don't know I'm going to have much to share with you today. Um, my poor chickie, she didn't make it. I found her dead yesterday morning. Which was a shame because the night before she had she'd been drinking some water. But I, I think it was just old age. That's why I didn't take her to the vets because I didn't really feel all they were going to do. I guess I could have put her to sleep but um, she didn't seem like she wasn't well, but she didn't seem to be in, in that much pain. I don't know. I mean, she was sort of had a head up and seemed okay. And once I saw her drink the water, I thought, well, maybe she's going to get that up. That was it for her. So now I've only got three chickens. <sighs> oh my gosh, my body. And uh, do I have anything else to tell you? Just watching lots of cycling. Still watching cycling. Day four, today they're back in France. <laughs> and there's Miss Rosie. <laughs> I just moved to put the blanket over him. He likes a blankie. <laughs> You're a funny doggy, aren't you, Bailey? You like lying in front of the head and you like lying under a blanket. You now I noticed also when I was editing my vlogs, they're getting rather long, so I'm going to try and keep it a little bit more concise for you today. Um, so I won't linger here any longer because I don't think I've got anything else to say at the minute. But hopefully I'll pick up a bit and learn to get some things done. We'll see. I'm going to go up and have my shower and get ready for the day. And then I can get myself some breakfast. Finish up watching. Headaches are coming and going. So hopefully it'll um, ease up a bit and I'll be able to get some things done. I'm going to try and get some groceries at some um, sort of the top priorities today and probably some ironing because the ironing is building up again. <laughs> so they're probably the two, the two goals for today. Other than that, maybe a walk with the dogs. I nearly got out yesterday afternoon with them but I wasn't, I was feeling okay and I nearly did and I thought I'd oh, better not. And then luckily because I think half an hour later I started to feel really bad again so I think the walk would have um, just exasperated the problems that I had. This is what happened yesterday. I just hung on the washing up in here. I didn't get it up too late. And the girls have been in the spa, so um, these weren't left here. Let's put them there to dry. Oh, I can show you our new toy Kevin's installed. 
automatic blinds for us now. <laughs> he, he does it. Oh, sorry, Fuzzly. So now, because you might have, I don't know if you probably noticed that one wasn't working. Now they all work again. That's nice. What do you think, Rosie? And we've got our remote, remote controls beside our bed as well. I was going to wash the sheets today. Oh, look at those terrible sheets that Kevin bought. I'm actually sleeping on top of the sheet now because it's so yucky. But I don't have it in me to make it today, I don't think. Oh, I just can't believe this. Incredible. You can see. I said my face for dry, my skin. I don't know if you can see it or not. See, I've got dry skin. Oh, I don't think I've ever had that in my life. Oh, that is so weird. It's like it's peeling. Wow. I knew my skin felt dry. Hmm. I'm going to put a night cream on today rather than a day cream. That is... I have, I've been a bit slack at night, not cleansing my face at night, moisturising my face at night. But... So maybe it's to do with that. I'll be a bit more vigilant. I've just because I've not been feeling good. It's like I haven't got makeup on, so I just can't bother doing anything. So I'll just have to work a bit on that because it's like dry skin. Wow. Well, I found this little sample to use. So I've used this one and it was really, really rich. Um, more rich than I would normally like for daytime. So hopefully that might do the job. This is what greasy me in the kitchen this morning. I left my kitchen all tidy. There was made pancakes or something last night and um, made a big mess of the hob. So, <laughs> but, um, they cleaned up that bit. <laughs> but not that bit. Which would have been easier to do. Good. Last night when it was hot. Lucky me. I've had a bit of a craving for crumpets. So that's what I'm having for breakfast. And my crumpets done. And of course, they require some butter. And honey, not the healthiest breakfast I know. And the honey drips down all the holes. Yum. The girls are up now, so I'm banished into this room. They're watching TV and the other, which is fine. I still got my cycling to finish. About 25 minutes to go. But I've got the washing hung out and the dishwasher empty, so I will continue watching my race and then I'll get organized to go get some groceries. I'm just preparing my shopping list. I'm not feeling great but I want to eat my groceries so I'll do that. Get home. I have to say I feel really terrible body aches and pains but I'll go get my groceries and um, try to get dinner for tonight and tomorrow night oh, to make stuff. It's only for the earaches I'm wondering if it's a start of an ear infection but like they're both hurting. Oh. I'm a mess. I don't know what's wrong with my body. It drove me crazy. Anyway, I'll get this and get home as quick as I can. As you see at home, I've got my helper. Oh, no, it hurts my head. Look at that. Oh, no. Shush. Oh, that's the groceries though. The girl did not do a good job packing, so the bag's like half empty. So, okay. I'll get them unpacked. I'm still very sore. Feeling very sorry for myself today. And I'll get that done and picked up. I think I picked up something I wanted to show you. I'll be frozen things now. I don't know. We'll see. This is what my helper did. You're supposed to carry them in and not open them. <laughs> Rosie. Look at naughty she knows she What did you do, Rosie? Is all we do? No. Rose. I was playing fuzzy and I know he gets the things down, but obviously you join in. What did we do? Rosie. You're supposed to help carry them in, not eat them. I forgot to put her cone on, so I found this on the couch. And you're just getting better. Oh, Mummy's fault. I forgot your cone, didn't I? Well, I thought she wasn't really home alone. The other girls are home in there watching TV, but... <sighs> Rosie. My kind daughter asked her to go get my slippers, and she's even putting them on my feet. Yes. It's very kind. Well, you're sort of like putting your feet in my ears. I was like, <laughs> moving your feet. I was like, Sarah's like, <laughs> thank you. 
And my feet will be warm. We'll let you still get cold in the nose yeah. anyway. Thank you. Hey. I remember when Kevin went out the other morning. He um, taped, I think it was the same day as sunrise. Anyway, put this up on YouTube now. It's a great flyover of this one I wanted. No. Okay, well, Kevin's actually been going through and uploading a heap of videos he's taken with his, um, this little helicopter thing. Kind of what's called again. The drone, yeah. And this one, this is sun, it was a very quick little sunrise, uh, but this one in particular, you should go and have a look at it. I'll put a link to this one below, and if you want to watch these other ones, you can go to this channel. But this is the beach where I've been taking the dogs the last few times. It's up down this end of the dog beach, down about there. He's, um, just a, he's getting a lot better at them. This one's very nice. You want to see some of Wollongong? I say she'd send this one to the tourist board. <laughs> it's so pretty. You can see that's the lighthouse, the shadow of the lighthouse, that's so very early morning. I think it's really lovely. So yeah, so a link below if you wanna see some more. It only goes for a couple of minutes. Here's my homemade pizza for lunch. I've just got Lebanese bread with some barbecue sauce. Cheese, pineapple, and a bit of onion. And poo. And Bailey trying to come up, but I've got my computer in the road. I know it's just near the other end. With this plaited tail. I don't think you've seen this plaited tail yet. I'll zoom in. That plaited plug his tail. Yes, because he plaited his tail. He's got three little bats on the end of his tail. <laughs> I'm zoomed in on it at the minute. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He doesn't worry. He didn't care, did he? Yeah, poor Rosie hasn't got a pellet tail. Have you, Rose? No, can I pat Rosie? I have tough on. Poor Bailey. I just got up off my chair and sort of flicked my foot thing down. Yeah, he's getting underneath that went crack on his head. Poor boy. He doesn't usually lie under my chair. I said, Mum's been really nice and cleaned all that here for me. Um. I thought I should go and dry here because the problem when water lies there, it just the dirt just settles back into it and doesn't really clean it quite properly. Like it's clean, but it will get dirt back in it. But this should have done a bit of that, but I'm not sure. I think she might have slushed it off a bit. Yeah, that looks a lot better, doesn't it? Sorry, she actually wants to do it. Um, I think she's still struggling a little bit and um, she likes to keep busy. So yesterday she weeded all, <laughs> weeded all my vegetable garden and today she did that here. And I feel really bad that I didn't help, but I just wasn't able to today. I'm still feeling pretty, pretty poor, weak and in pain. Uh, certainly I couldn't bend over because it's funny pain. It moved from my back to my chest, like straight through to the other side. It's weird. I don't know if I pinched a nerve sort of in the middle and it sort of, the pain goes either side. Do you want to go outside, Ben? I can let you out this door. I had to wash Athena's shoes because she was at the beach so I stood down. It's in front of the sun. Because she was at the beach the other day and they got... Mind you, I think she might need some new shoes. Maybe these are her old shoes. My goodness. I know she lives in these. Mm, I think the sun is. Hello, Rosie. Give me the YouTube and around online oh it's funny pain in the chest now I'm going to come back in it's a nice day nice day again look another cloud in the sky it's been a very very mild winter so far but they have got snow at the snowy mountains they have a lot of snow actually that's good for them. My lips are really dry, so not only my forehead dry, my lips are dry. So yeah, I think I'll just get my cup of, I'll get a cup of tea and I will go back to watching videos of I'm uploading I've been uploading a video for over 24 hours, so I don't know what's going on with that. 
I don't think it's finished yet. But Kevin has ordered the NBN apparently. We should have it. I can't remember if it's by the end of the month or within a month. I can't remember. But I has ordered it. So. Oh, there must be something. Oh my god, there's something wrong with this again. Look at this. Last time I looked, it had 300 minutes. I didn't look this morning. I should have. Now, a thousand. Oh, we want, to, we want to stop it. Cancel upload. Re upload. Oh my goodness. I've actually had a lot of trouble with this weekend vlog. Because even when I was trying to um, sort of share it, share that was fine. But when I tried to compress it, the compressing settings had changed. It kept compressing into really bad quality. It took me a while to work out that it was like iPod quality. So I had to compress it a few times before. And I, finally, I was actually in the middle of processing. I was actually in the middle of sending Kevin an email. Bailey, let's stop here. Come back here. Come here. Let's stop. <laughs> Good boy. I haven't even had a walk again. Um, yeah, I was actually in the process of typing an email to Kevin. I thought, oh, I remember what to do, so I'd love to do it myself. Come on, Rosie. Come on. In comes Rosie. So, oh, I'm very proud of myself. I worked about myself. Um, yes, but like, there's just been no one's trouble this video, this vlog. And I think it's going to start from zero. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Everything's going very, very slow. That's not well, good news. It's sounding from 65%, so that's saying just a couple of hours to go. That's ridiculous. Um, okay, there's something else I, I should be filming uh, Libby Loses It video. I think it'll be, gosh, week 10. I should be doing an update for if I'm doing it fortnightly. But I don't think my weight's changed very much. It's been up and down with the same sort of kilo, probably for the last two weeks. I'll double check and see if I have lost anything since my last two weeks. But starting to struggle. I don't know if it's because I'm school holidays or because I'm feeling really bad and feeling sorry for myself. But just the last few days, haven't I've been struggling. I've been wanting naughty things. And I've had a few naughty things, but it's been in control. So that's a big thing. Um, so I'm just aiming to keep under control and try and keep away from sugar if I can. Um, as much as possible anyway. And then I'll um, let me just take stock and sort of see what I'm up to. But yeah, I am struggling. That's why I haven't done a little bit loser the video. I just didn't. Without, I can just, just I could just say what I just said now, but I thought I'd just pop it in here. Um, and then maybe next week I'll put together a plan of attack or something. Hopefully when I'm feeling a bit more on top of things. Well, the band's practicing, so I've got banished through to here again. I don't mind, it's quite nice sitting in here for a while though. I did get a sore back yesterday, so I'm going to pop an extra cushion behind me. Put my tea through and I put my pups through. Oh, don't put my tea, babe. Rosie, where are you going? Rosie? Rose, how about you come? Rosie? <laughs> you come on this side. Babe, you go on this side. And we'll all be together. Okay. It's nice and warm in here anyway. It's warmer. There you go. There's a close up of his tail. <laughs> That's looking a bit messy in now. Little plaits, aren't they? <laughs> so I don't care having plaits in my tail. He's a good boy. I got it, got sidetracked pinning things for Queensland. <laughs> what about my Pinterest now? It's just all things. A lot of things I'd pin. Oh, the gold is cute. Yes. Pin all these things. So, things you want to do. Queensland. Oh, it's getting dark hat, so I'll meet you up in a minute. And um, bring the washing in and bring Charlie in. Start to think about dinner. I'd like to have a bath. Maybe I've got dinner done. I've got to just finish it off later on. 
I've just done some chicken central or corn central for the vegetarians. Um, mashed potatoes. I bought some little corn cobs today. And I think I'm doing honey carrots. So I could do all the potatoes and the carrots and get that organised. And they're getting her a bath. I'm so achy, a bath would be lovely. Um, except someone's come to join me. <laughs> hey, you scare off, did you scare off Rosie? Did you scare her off? He was just going to squeeze into a little space, Rosie. Because he doesn't take that much space. <laughs> Does Rosie take up a lot of space? Oh, look at that, it's a baby otter. How cute is that? <laughs> I need to get up, but I don't want to disturb him. <laughs> Lying with me all. <laughs> Too cute. <laughs> it's Eeyore. <laughs> and it's fuzzy. You're a funny dog. He's obviously not feeling well. He hasn't moved yet. And I've been into the laundry and been outside and he's just stayed there. And he's got a very dry nose. Poor little fella. My kitchen bench always end up looking like this. I'm to my pizza. I usually share with Kevin, so obviously I couldn't eat it all by myself. <laughs> right, I'll clean up. Well, I wanted to go and sit in the other room, but I don't know. I don't want to disturb him, so we'll sit in here again. Because <laughs> I love you, Fuzzy. <laughs> you poor boy. Poor Fuzzle. You lie down. Mommy will stay with you. Such a good boy. What's his big tail doing? You're a good boy. Hopefully, I might feel better in the morning. I've got to take um, Chrissy into town for another art workshop. So if I feel good, I could take them down to the beach or at least for a nice walk or something. But I'm not incredibly hopeful. I have no idea what is going on with my body at the minute. No one's coming down with something else, or I don't know. it's incredibly frustrating. So I'm pretty comfortable, so I don't don't disturb this boy. The things we do for our babies. He doesn't use a pillow pet very much as usually. Rosie is so cute. Looks rather cold out there now, and cloudy. Look. Owls. I think it's supposed to get cooler tomorrow. Like, we're free. I think Kevin must be home. We're free. I just got a phone call, so I had to quickly run the other room to get my phone. He can go up and follow me. Well, I think he might be home, which would be good, because I'm going to ask him to help me with dinner. He's home early, though, if it's him. We'll see. Is your daddy home, Rosie? Fuzzy? Or are you just being silly pups? <coughs> Oh no, I think he must be out. No, it wasn't Kevin. So, I don't know if they heard something outside or they heard the girls upstairs, I don't know. Oh, I'll wait a bit longer and see if he comes home he can help me. <laughs> Tell it, I'm motivated and I won't do it. But I have been doing dinner. I might not be feeling the best, but I'll be getting the basics done. Got the washing down. Look. I've only got three little chickens left now. Three little chooks. I'm surprised they're not in bed yet. They're usually in bed by now. You decided to come and join me in here after all, didn't you, Bailey? Oh, you're such a good boy. I'm cold. I need to go around and close up the house. And I've even in these. I get really cold feet. So even in my slippers, which are fluffy, my feet are freezing. Kevin's a sweetheart. He's doing dinner for me. I'm going to go up and have a bath. <laughs> I feel really bad. And there's some soap in some nice hot water. Hopefully it'll make me feel better. But he's so good, he's done dog's dinner. He's doing our mashed, doing mashed potatoes and everything. But since was, uh, it's an easy one, but still he doesn't need to cook dinner, so pretty impressive. Kevin's my hero. He did dinner all by himself and the girls are helping clean up at the Easter and they're cleaning up. It's so good. I still feel like disgusting. Didn't really much of my dinner, a bit of corn and some mashed potatoes and my snitchel that he done for me. Getting very 
down about this, not depressed, but down about it. So sick of feeling, I suppose not what's wrong. My pain, like my chest and the back. So, we'll give you. You said we worked a whole day and go and make dinner. Just come in and I recognise the house on Time Team. The Time Team? It's um, Castle Howard. And I thought, look, like Castle Howard. I've been there, and it was. Apparently, there's a few town leading up to it, so we're recording an approach later on. I don't know if Kevin's gonna watch it. He hasn't been there, so it doesn't quite have the same importance to him as it to me. Where did he go? Um, so I went there. This is on our trip to England back in '97, the first time we went. Yeah, '97, and we did a tour. And he went. I think he went to like the York Dungeon or something. Or well, he might want to have a rest day, I can't remember. I think he wanted a rest day and then he went to the York Dungeon as part of his rest day and I went to Castle Howard. Like with that two of groups. Oh, there it is. Yeah, and um, so I went there and I just loved it. So we did the tour of the house and I remember walking in and the picture of a golden tree up above the stairwell. So of course I instantly fell in love with the place. That's about all I can remember from the inside because you couldn't take photos inside. Um, but then after that I went for a big walk all by myself all around the gardens and it was just so lovely. Um, it's one of those little memories that you have. It's often, I mean it's often a walk somewhere. <laughs> Hello. 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 Oh. So, yeah, it's something interesting to, to watch this since I've been there. Maybe I'll show the picture of the golden.